Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Satellite images at NWS and Tizen show the development of a super typhoon that meteorologists compared to some of the strongest storms to hit Guam, like Typhoon Karen in 1962. Uh, we were talking to him all through the night. And everybody seemed to be okay, but a uh, very devastating storm for uh, Saipan and Tinian. Chip Guard from NWS says they monitored the track through the night, calling Super Typhoon U2 a, quote, monster that was packed with powerful wind. Our estimates were, uh, it was a Category 5 typhoon. I doubt it was a strong, uh, okay. I doubt it was a strong Category 5, but uh, probably a medium and, uh, Category 5. And we're estimating up around 175 uh, mile per hour winds, uh, gusts close to 200 miles an hour. Answering calls, NWS kept officials in the loop as the eye made its closest point of approach above Tinian and southern Saipan, even helping locals seeking help during the storm. Even people called in uh, uh, to get, get information about the storm, you know, that were uh, huddled in their houses with the roof blown off and stuff like that. So uh, we were able to, you know, tell a lot of people what to do and, and uh, and also work with the emergency people up there, the first responders, on when they could uh, uh, get out and uh, start doing rescue work and assessment work. NWS is now conducting post-typhoon weather assessments while monitoring the region for any nearby disturbances, wanting to stay alert during October to December, which is peak typhoon season. Reporting for Guamzi's Network, I'm Carmen Victoria Terlahi. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.